Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a, a Bionicle review, and this one's on three of, or on what you're looking at two, but actually three of the Bulrocks from 2002, of course. So we'll start off with the uh, with the two caster entries, which two up for the entry, of course, but you see the Bonk logo, and also that little, uh, also one of their uh, hand pieces is with the name underneath it and picture of the set that comes within and also the you do the destiny symbol on the side which all the 2002 sets or most of the 2002 sets all had and and also down the court set number and also amount of pieces all of which 40 pieces and and of course like a logo and also on the sides of each caster, do you get the bonicle symbol etched into it? And well, for that, and then also on the back sides of which you see the different view of the set and how to put it in the caster, and also the features of it and what you can do with the chrono, and also the old saying "just imagine," but also the this one which has the back sticker off it and it has the symbol symbol on it which and also one of the hanger pieces on the uh, lid part which I'll show later but however the interesting thing with these casters is that the top part which does have the borax symbol kind of etched into it and these two are of course stackable like most like all other casters were and also stackable sideways like that so you can like have them nestled together like that, like the actual uh, Borak resting caves kind of work. So it's quite neat how they did with these casters, but yeah. And so now, on to the sets. Oh, we're starting out with the main blue one, Gawak, of course. And of course, same exact build as all the Borax and Borax, uh, Borax calls, of course. But of course, since this is regular Borax, at least, I see you have the main consistent color schemes that are just about like the original 2001 Toamata sets. But, and of course, with a third color bit added into it, well, in this case, orange, or orange, of course. I think. First off, for the feet, which are just the traditional bull rock kind of feet, which they get used with lot many sets afterwards, but however, are in this regular blue color, and then the legs of which, which we did also see, which also see on a couple other sets like the Colimatorin to the following year, of course, and then as for her, as for this one's. Uh, main body pieces, at least they which were also once used on Kanak and Gada or Kanak and Gada, the Barra Queen sets. And, and as for the ones of the arms, which same build as the rest, but and as for this sheep for her shield piece, which does have some ridges in in it and also a pin connection in it. But although this is kind of a neat one, but However, this fin piece, or this piece in particular, also used on the uh, on the uh, Usani in the uh, Takanuva set the following year, but it, that was in gray, of course. But at least great seeing this, good to see this in blue, obviously. And as for the uh, head part, also like all the other Borak ones, but except the eye pieces in translucent orange, of course, which does also translate to the uh, Metru, to a, or the Metru Nui water characters as well. And like the other bull rocks, you can like kind of lift the face shield up and fling, fling the Krana out, or let's do that properly. And of course, you get one of the Kranas, which are of course a soft rubber material uh, and a little notch there to put it on any uh, Toamata or Matoran's faces of course and 
in the English were also quite collectible, like the masks in it and so on. But however, my copy of this, this came with this one, but yours might be different. Oh, whoops. And now it's for the back part of it, which, as you can see, it does have, have the little gray part that makes the main feature work. You push on this and it makes it launch forward, which, of course, is always quite a fun thing. But now, also, oh, let me zoom out about how to like curl it up where you take the legs put them inwards do the same on the other side you can also take the arms make them like that and then put them in so so now it's all rolled and curled up but although as on the Bonicle Heroes video game what they do, put these outwards and fly like that. But now, however, if for the caster from earlier, which what this little piece is for is so you can clip it on their butts like that, and then put it in the caster and make it look like they're. Oh, it's resting and cocooned in there. Oh, it's very cool. Well, how that is. And, and of course, same with the Rockshies the following year that also did that. But, of course, since, of course, this is which kind of a sign of the times where you got plenty of extra cool stuff for a cheap price, of course. Now moving on to so one of the other two. There's being Pa Penrock or Pa Rock, of course. Which as you can see, same kind of color scheme as Pohatumata, of course, but in except for a one little accent color, which is of dark green. Which kinda of odd for that, but but although the uh, met true characters the following two years after, which did have dark blue uh, kind of type pieces, eye pieces to them. If anyone knows why that is, comment down below, of course. And of course, and as for his shield piece, which was also used on Kotak and Gotak, but that one was in blue and red. But at least, good seeing it here in brown, but Pretty sure it might have come in some other sets in different colors, but uh, I forgot. And, and of course, same feature as the up one. There's, but there's which the Corona that I got with my copy of it, but yours might be different. And, and on the back side, same feature as the rest. And that's about it with that. And now on to Nuvok, of course. Which has the consisting of black and darkish gray. But also light gray, of course. But however, for his shield pieces, this over you have kind of a bit of shielding to it and what looks like uh, not sure if they're either gun barrels or jackhammers, of course. Which of course jackhammer used to like tunnel their way through the through the ground of course. And although and what's kinda of interesting is this uh primer or how it with this little oddity color scheme back to this. Or it's the same as Onuamata's, but however the but was one color mash which is of a uh, neon yellow for the eyes and Krana. Not sure why that is. Although the dark green could have worked out with that and let this be on a paw rock, but maybe that's just me. Thinking. And like the rest of it, can like fling forward like the rest. And this is the Krana that I got with this. And again, yours might vary a bit. And, and of 
course, like all the rest. Same thing. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this, these of which are quite good sets, both for the time and still are now, especially like for the curling up kind of features and also for being able to hang in the canisters, obviously. And of course, and of course, kind of interesting, even though the color schemes, which may be the same as the Toa Mata sets from the year prior, but at least they did have a third clashing color in them. And which also it was kind of okay seeing some differentiness in the sets, but at least they would, but I can still forgive it, but yeah. And also all their feature on the, for the ability of the can, putting them in the canisters and hanging them off that, which was great. At least until the Hero Factory plastic bags rolled around, but at least these would just, Again, still a sign of the times where you got a little extra for your cheap price, of course. So, and of course, as for the size for price, which still quite fair for how they are, even though with inflation around, well, at least they're still fair enough as well, but yeah. And, well, and also for these three in particular, well, especially Nuvak, which nice to see a bit of differentiating this with the uh, line trans yellow, of course, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.